Good day everyone. Today I will present the video of surface marking of the thorax. Now what do you mean by the surface marking? Surface marking means surface projection of an underlying structure. Now this is very important to know because you will learn how to examine a patient by doing the surface work. Now the first point you will see here, I will show you this is the clavicle which is very prominent. That is the boundary between the neck and the thorax. And you will see the medial end of the clavicle which is very prominent and this is feel you can feel this thin and rounded and you will see to you trace this clavicle and ultimately it will goes to one end that is known as the acromial end of the clavicle so this is the sternal end of the clavicle and this is the acromial end of the clavicle this is very important because you have to palpate more person you have to know the whole of the anatomy of the different person and if there is fracture of the clavicle or other diseases in the abdomen by doing the mid clavicular line you can identify this so this is the importance of the surface marking next thing i shall discuss that is the sternal angle now sternal angle what you will see this is the actually the you will see this is the part of the skeleton of the thorax and in front it lies the sternum that is the flat bone which is known as the it is here there you will see this is the manubrium sterni and this is the body of the sternum and this is the xiphoid process and this bone is actually lies in this position you will see in this position it will lies and junction between the manubrium and the body this transverse line you can feel it by 5 cm below a notch in the medial part of the clavicle and this is known as the sternal angle so we can do a point we can give a point near the region of the sternal angle because it helps in counting the ribs so this is the point in the position of the sternal angle it helps in counting the ribs so why does it important because the counting of the ribs you can know the intercostal spaces these are the intercostal spaces which is here it is you see the intercostal spaces i can feel i can feel you can feel in your body or others body you can feel the ribs and then the intercostal spaces and by seeing a person you will know that what is the excursion of the chest during examination that how far he can breathe next is that so sternal angle is important for the counting of the ribs there are many other anatomical importance but you are not visualize that that is the junction between the superior mediastinum and the inferior mediastinum the sternal angle the right side of the sternal angle it represent the second costal cartilage so if i put here a point that represent the second costal cartilage here you will see the second costal cartilage next another thing on the left side you will see i am feeling that and i will put a point on the second costal cartilage on the left side so next what does it represent that you can count that this is the second rib this is the third rib this is the fourth rib this is the fifth rib and this is the sixth rib so that you can identify the shape and the size of the heart through the above this through the skin now what are the shadow of the heart you will see here not shadow the you will see 
the surface projection of the heart. So you will give a point that is this is the second costal cartilage. So below that second costal cartilage you will get the second space. In the second space lower you will give a point. And this point is the first point of the right border of the heart. Next another point you will give at the fourth costal cartilage. So this is the second, this is the third and this is the fourth. So this is the fourth costal cartilage. You will give it towards the uh, right side of about 2.5 centimeter away from the midline. Next you will give it the point that is in the sternocostal junction that is six costoxiphoid portion this is the xiphoid process i can feel and this xiphoid process you can feel in the abdomen also so this is the right border of the heart i connect this point and you will see this form the right border of the heart next the uh, how will you draw the inferior? Next, how will you draw the inferior border of the heart? You see the left nipple, it corresponds with the fourth intercostal space. So below and medial to the left nipple, that is the fifth space, 9 cm away from the midline. So for joining this up to this one, this is the inferior border of the heart. Next, the left border of the heart. From the lower part of the second costal cartilage or from the beginning of the second space, there is a point for the left auricle. And this is the apex. So you make a convex line in front of the this is the in front of the chest and this part of the heart is known this chest wall in front of the heart is known as the precordium so if you can assess this is the size of the heart you see the heart size is about one third that of the total chest so you can assess where you will place the you can uh, heart the heart sound so hearing of the heart sound is very easy if you know this point now the valves of the heart they are located in the oblique line there is the vertical tricuspid valve which is just near the region of the lateral border of the sternum there is the pulmonary valve, there is the aortic valve, and there is the mitral valve. But you cannot place your stethoscope here because the heart sound, that is the lub dub lub dub lub dub lub dub, this is the lub that is produced by the right atrioventricular and left atrioventricular valve that is more common hardly hard in this region so that is the region of the fourth space so they lie in the oblique line though but the you will see the bicuspid valve it you will get the heart sound towards the nipple so this is the mitral valve this is the tricuspid valve and this valve is the most common valve which is very much injured by the disease. Next you will see that uh, after this I will show you how you can know the lung, extension of the lung. What is the extension of the lung? If I do the extension of the lung, you will see it starts from the apex. And this apex is actually, that is at the 
middle part of the middle one third of the clavicle so this is the put a point over the uh, this part of the this is the apex because you know the lung extends up to the medial end above the clavicle but it does not cross the posterior end now this is the sternoclavicular joint that is the next point second is you will give a point toward the right side of the sternoclavicular joint next you will give the second point the, the last point you will give at the costo zygoid angle so this is the extension of the right lung we'll do this drawing in the powder and the there is the flexible card but here as the video is going on that's why i cannot able to do this because it will not be prominent to you so one person can be used again and again due to the this powder and this no dry next what is the extension of the left border of the lung you see again it is at the medial one third middle part second is the left side of the sterno manibio sternal junction the third point is that is at the left side of the sternal angle slightly right of the left of the midline then so this is the second space you will see this is the third space and this is the fourth space so in this fourth space here what will happen in this space this lung deviate how much 3.8 cm you will deviate here and then it again come in front so you will see this is the left lung anterior border why there is this deviation because you will see this portion of the heart is in direct contact with the chest to a lower two pieces of the sternum d you will see this is the young bone so in the young bone you will see this is the manubrium this is the body but the body are not fused and they are known as the sternum d so this part as it is exposed it is a lung is away so this part can be used for examination purpose and withdrawal of the fluid if there is accumulation of the fluid within the pericardia so this is the anterior border of the left lung this is very important you should know the extension of the lung one should actually know this clavicle is important because from here we can do the mid clavicular line and in the mid clavicular line the lower border of the lung is at the sixth rib and you see you extend your hand you will see abduct your hand there is the anterior border of the axilla this is this fold so this mid axillary line there will be in the eighth rib and you will go behind you will see in the scapular line you will see this is the scapula so in the scapular line it is near this 10th 10th rib so this is the extension of the lung lower limit of the lung why you should know this because if there is any accumulation of the fluid because this is the lower limit of the lung and lower limit of the pleura you know that is in the eighth space in the mid clavicular line in the 10th space in the mid axillary line so there is a gap so in this gap 
there is accumulation of the fluid and there is chest pain and we can withdraw the fluid and if you know the lower limit of the lung you don't go above the eighth rib so that you can damage the lung so this is the clinical importance now another thing i will show you that is the arch of the aorta you know the arch of the aorta is anterior posterior it begins at the right end of the sternal angle here then it goes in the middle of the manubrium sterni and then in the left end of the sternal angle and you will draw this line in such a way that they are 2 cm wide from each other such a big the arch of the aorta is so this is the main point of the uh, surface marking of the thorax so you will see the surface marking is done by the visible landmark and the palpable landmark visible landmark you can see here the nipple is visible that is the soft tissue the umbilicus is visible that is the soft tissue now the bony landmark you can feel or you can see you will see this is the bony landmark you see this is the head of the ulna hmm so this is the you can see but something you can feel here so these are the point you should remember throughout your life thank you everyone for watching this uh, surface marking